Bonjour et bienvenue. Welcome to chapter 5. In this chapter, we're going to learn about activities and seasons and how to ask when we do something and how often we do something. And a lot of things that we've learned are going to be combined into this chapter. So let's start with vocabulary, the first vocabulary, vocabulary on. En hiver, nous aimons faire du ski, faire du patin à glace. In winter, we like to ski, we like to ice skate. En hiver, if you look at this, in winter you do what? You shiver. So, hiver is shiver without the S. That's a way to remember this word. Au printemps, j'aime jouer au basketball. Faire de la photo. In spring, I like to play basketball to take pictures. We've had jouer au basketball before. Au printemps, if you move the S from printemps to the beginning, kind of looks like springtime. Another way to remember this. You'll want to pause and copy these words and phrases. En été, nous aimons jouer au volley, faire du surf. In summer, we like to play volleyball. Again, a review phrase. Faire du surf, to go surfing. En automne, j'aime faire du vélo, faire du jogging. In autumn, very easy to remember, I like to go bicycling or to go jogging. Again, pause, copy these down, rewind, write what they mean. Here are seasons in our months. Our seasons are l'hiver, le printemps, l'été, l'automne. Now before we had en hiver, au printemps, en été, en automne. Can you tell why we use two different things? If you said because these have vowel sounds, then you're right. We use en before a word that starts with a vowel or a vowel sound. We use au in front of one that's masculine and begins with a consonant. All of these are masculine, by the way. We've already had our months, janvier, février, mars, avril, mai, juin, Juillet ou septembre, octobre, novembre, décembre. The word la saison is season, although all the seasons are masculine. The word for season is feminine. We have le mois, which is the same for the singular and the plural, and it means month. Pause, write it down. Here's some activities. Le weekend, j'aime jouer au hockey. You might want to wear le casque. I like to play hockey. Le casque is a helmet. Jouer au jeu video, to play video games. Jouer au tennis, to play tennis with your la raquette, which is the racket. Jouer de la battery, to play drums. Jouer de la guitar, to play guitar. Jouer du piano, to play piano. Pause, write them down. Some other activities, faire du roller, to go skateboarding, faire du théâtre, to do theater, to act in plays, faire du skate, to go skating, faire de la vidéo amateur, to make amateur movies, you might use le caméscope, which is a camcorder, you might use l'appareil photo, which is a camera, if we add numérique to either of these, appareil photo or chemiscope, it means digital. You might faire de la tisma to do track and field, faire de la robic to do aerobics, and of course le ski or skis. Again, pause and copy. To ask 
if someone plays sports, we say, est-ce que tu fais du sport? No, je ne fais pas de sport. Est-ce que tu joues au golf? No, je ne joue pas au golf. Now, I'm not going to stop and say what these mean because that's written in red. Qu'est-ce que tu fais comme sport? Je joue au basket. Qu'est-ce que tu fais pour t'amuser? Je fais du ski. I see. I have a little typo. Fixed. Okay. Qu'est-ce que tu fais pour t'amuser? What do you do for fun? Je fais du ski. Qu'est-ce que tu fais, Sandy? Je ne fais rien. Now, where I have the blanks, that means you can insert any of your sports or activities or any day of the week in this case. Pause and copy. Quand est-ce que tu fais du jogging? When do you? En quelle saison tu fais du jogging? You can answer both of these with Je fais du jogging en automne et au printemps. So when we answer this, we insert like fait du jogging or joue, joue au basket or fait du ski. And then we would put the season for either of these. And the next one, we say tu fais du jogging pendant quel mois? During which months do you? Je fais du jogging en octobre et en avril. You would list any of the months that you would participate in the sports. Okay, so that's the end of the vocabulary. Make sure that you do the activities in your travel pratique and in your livre. Et bonne chance.